Hi everyone, it is Tony here from Custom PCs. Um, today I'm just going to show you how to back up to an external drive in Windows 11. A um, little bit of a hidden feature, but it is still something you can certainly do. Um, if you were to type in backup into the search bar, um, you'll see an option here called Windows Backup. So this is the one that I suppose everyone would use because they can't find the other one. Uh, the downside to this one is that it records to uh, OneDrive um, and there's no option to record anything to an external SSD. Uh, so basically that's all it's going to do now. OneDrive gives you 5 gig of free storage, uh, which isn't going to be enough for most people to back up their PC. So yeah, unless you want to go paid uh, with OneDrive, um, that's not really a great option. So the way to access it is to type in control panel into the search bar and then you want to see this one called backup and restore now you can see they haven't really touched this since Windows 7 they're obviously trying to push people to back up to OneDrive um, but if you click on this one here you're gonna see here uh, the option to to back it up so set up uh, backup we're just gonna click on that one Uh, now it will bring up all the devices that you have connected to your computer. Now, obviously, I've got quite a bit here. Um, ideally, you'll have bought yourself a new um, external drive, uh, which is bigger than your hard drive. But for example purposes, uh, I'll just choose this one. And then we're just going to click on Next. Now, you've got two options here. Uh, so what do you want to back up? If you choose let Windows choose, it's just going to back up pretty much everything on your computer. It'll choose, you can choose a user, but in general, you're just going to have one user on your computer. Uh, if you do go let me choose. So you can choose all of your different options uh, here. Now you can do separate disks, you can do multiple. Uh, you can just do data files, uh, but we're not going to do it that way. Instead, we would just want to do the whole system image. So let Windows choose, click Next. Uh, and that's going to choose all users and it will back up everything. Now, the other option you have in here is to schedule. Uh, so you can obviously choose here daily, weekly, monthly, uh, what day uh, and what time. Uh, now, these backups can take a little while. Uh, if you've only got not a lot of data on your computer, it will take half hour, 40 minutes. If you do have a lot of data it's an hour and a half two hours so make sure you're choosing a time that you're not going to be needing your computer um, but once you've done that you set that that's okay uh, and then you would just click on save settings and run backup and that's literally it it's now backing up the computer um, that's all there is to it just thought I'd show it to you because it's not a, an option that's easy to find um, but it is certainly doable Cheers, have a good one.